Last week, employees at Cunningham Fine Jewelry became victims of a frightening smash and grab robbery. Security cameras were rolling as two masked suspects used hammers to smash the jewelry cases. It's extremely traumatizing for them. And it's even, I mean, you just don't want anybody to have to go through that. While the suspects are still on the loose, Howard Cunningham is grateful his employees weren't hurt. He's also grateful to see that the number of robberies in Tulsa is going down. It's very good to see that, and, and I would say that's probably due to uh, some tremendous work by the Tulsa Police Department. In 2010, Tulsa saw 1,381 robberies. Last year, there were 1,090. That's more than a 21% decrease. When something good happens, it's because a whole lot of people did a whole lot of work and, uh, and did it right. Sergeant Brandon Watkins credits better communication between detectives and patrol officers for helping to nab more robbery suspects, including some serial robbers, such as the Harris brothers, who robbed Cafe Bona in South Tulsa in June, as well as a number of other Tulsa businesses. Kenneth Harris was sentenced to 40 years in prison for 11 counts of armed robbery. Micah Harris was sentenced to 35 years for nine counts of robbery. Watkins says those long prison sentences are helping to bring those numbers down, along with more tips from citizens. He says all of these factors combined are making a difference. And I don't think there is one factor that's caused a 21% drop, but I think there's a lot of factors going in where a lot of things are going right in Tulsa right now.